What hoi for mod is this? What hoi for mod is this? Yes, the totally funny and always original comment, no matter how many thousands of times I have to fucking read it. Now this hoi for mod is called Hearts of Iron 3. And it actually might be one of the greatest Hoi 4 mods of all time. It seems to add a little bit more depth to Hearts of Iron 4. Although graphically speaking, it looks like it takes the game back to 2009. But of course, things still feel the same. You know, we've got our great powers. The map looks similar, kind of. Uh, these modders have decided to add a few, few new start dates, I guess. Okay, we'll see how many people use that. Although I gotta admit, these borders are a little janky. I don't know, there's something very off-putting about this, but I, I will admit, I did not read the Steam Workshop. Okay, maybe there's a reason why this mod has chosen this direction. Maybe unlike Paradox, they're trying to show that the Earth isn't, in fact, flat. This was the best they could come up with, though. And yes, we got a bunch of new portraits, although I don't know why these guys are leading these countries. Is this some sort of weird alt-history mod? And all new map modes? I like it. This mod clearly has a lot of work put into it. Okay, uh, I just want, there we go, there's our political map mode. All right, second of all, can I, okay, here's consoles looking a little strange today, but that's, oh, okay, we, we have a fucking problem. I'm sorry, boys, but I'm gonna have to give this a one star, one star in the Steam Workshop, because it doesn't matter how much work you put into it, you took out the single greatest feature. Well, I guess I'm done here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And as always, big thanks to my Patreon supporters. For Actually, wait, now I can salvage this. Okay, they didn't get rid of Switzerland, so I will, I guess, view slash play as them. Oh boy. What if I was like the greatest player ever at Hearts of Iron 3? I'm just horrible at Hearts of Iron 4. No one would know. Maybe this, uh, maybe this is my true calling. I actually really like this triangle thing. I think this should be implemented into a uh, base game. Boy 4. Nice job, modders. Although, shouldn't Switzerland be like in the middle? I, I mean, I, I guess. We're drifting towards Axis or the common turn. I don't know how that's happening. This is why the modding scene is just so wonderful. Look at this. So the Hearts of Iron 3 mod has implemented the new Espionage mod, which is fantastic, by the way. Wow. It, it's great to see modders working together. Man, Spreadsheet Simulator 2K18 is just fantastic. I have this huge Excel boner right now. All right, let's just move forward and see what happens. Although, I don't know if I had historical AI on or off. I have a feeling we're going to see limited... Alternative history here. Look who it is. It's the Spanish Civil War. Oh, wow. What a what a shocker there Very surprising. I'm so sorry guys. This is so unprofessional. I, I must be playing in an older build I apologize for that. I know this is surprising, but I am actually trying to assign a general here um, I, I just noticed these little new general portraits. I guess Man just massive images. I think they might be a little bit too big though. Frego just won the Spanish Civil War All right, we're back to the good old days of him Winning every single time. Here we go. Okay, I, I don't even play Hearts of Iron 3. I, I don't even play Hearts of Iron 4. But just, just give us a simple ledger. And there's multiple tabs here. We've got an overview tab. Economic, miscellaneous, military. Just, just give me more info. I think this stuff is cool to look at. I might have made a huge mistake. I don't know if attrition is a thing. I'm assuming it is. I was just trying to do a front line or something. Are giant death stacks in this mod? Pretty sure giant death stacks are not a part of this. Although that'd make things a lot simpler. No co-prosperity sphere this time. The Japanese have joined the Axis. Nice one, Hirohito. I'm checking out the weather map mode. I'm assuming these are like storms or just rain that's popping up. I, I don't know. It's pretty cool to look at. Oh, Japan's going after China. I didn't realize that. I saw these notifications and I apparently wasn't paying much attention. Damn! They've already taken a lot of land. I, I don't think that much time's gone by. I'm gonna go ahead and debug Fog of War because, I mean, we gotta look at something. I'm not going to be doing anything interesting. Oh, whoops. That Okay, that might have been a bad idea. Uh, it, it's just a mod, guys. It's going to have some bugs. Oh, and fantastic. I guess uh, I guess auto saves aren't a thing anymore. Well, let's just fucking start over then. There we go. There's the Anschluss. Uh, nothing insane happened there. Actually, for the most part, we haven't seen much alt history so far. There's a the little circle I was looking for. Okay, I thought you were missing. Um, I, I, this doesn't really seem right, though. Maybe I'm a little confused. No, wait, this has got to be right, because this is exactly what I expect the Soviet Union to be looking like right now. All right. I guess we're going fascist. I'm so sorry. I'm so dumb. I, I, this is the first time I played this. Okay, this is actually my circle. Uh, I think I was viewing as Germany. Anyways, it looks like I'll be able to maybe stay neutral if I, if I choose to. Anyways, here's our kind of government tab. We got all these different portraits. I wonder if these are real. I doubt it. That'd be cool, though. Albania was just annexed, as well as Czechoslovakia is not having a good time. 
All right, Poland, you better get that booty ready. However, the big difference here is, because of the crash, uh, Franco still hasn't won the Spanish Civil War, so this is still playing out. That, uh, that's actually kind of a big deal. There's information up here about crude oil, rare materials, metals, and energy, but no chocolate. What the fuck? Here we go. World War II is about to start up. If uh, Poland doesn't give in to German demands, yeah, let's see how that goes. Wow, this mod makes Poland, like, really weak. They died in, like, a month. All right, I guess these modders aren't much of a fan of the Polish, I guess. And the line has already been broken. All right, I don't think they even need to go through Benelux territory. This German AI is kicking butt. What the hell is this? Election? Okay, this is new. I kind of like it. I'm assuming everything just stayed the same. And this Eastern Front hasn't really moved at all. It's like Japan got this territory, and that's it. It's just a stalemate. This is kind of new. All three Baltic states just got annexed at once. No resistance there. All right. And I believe we're going to see a certain fascist France pop up here soon. Maybe, oh, maybe not. Oh, wait, there we go. All right. We don't really see these guys much in my videos, so I always like to see them pop up. How's this triangle doing? Has it changed at all? Kind of. It's definitely moving a bit, but nothing too crazy. Not sure when this happened, but Bhutan and Nepal joined the Allies. That's not right, is it? I'm loving these AI improvements already. Look, look at this. They found a way to make the Germans actually invade Norway. It's nice to finally see that for once. And in the Balkans, things are looking pretty weird. Uh, Yugoslavia has been ripped apart. Greece is probably dead. And uh, Romania is looking just like a huge mess. The Japanese also have control over French Indochina. I'm not sure if this is just something they're given after France falls or if they actually had to take it. Oh no, Uncle Leon, he didn't, he didn't survive. You know, did they have to put the paperclip right there? Oh man, I just imagine that's the chunk of his head that's probably missing now. Ooh, Finland just joined the Axis, and I know that Stalin's getting ready to mobilize, so that might be an interesting front. Even though we're completely surrounded by the Axis, and we are basically at their complete mercy, it really makes me feel a lot better that we have 28 dudes willing to sacrifice their life for us. That's all we need, just these 28 men and some mountains, and I'm pretty sure we'll be safe. I almost missed this, uh, the US took control over Iceland and Greenland. That's actually really cool. Why can't this happen more often? The US and Mexico, by the way, just decided to join the allies. All right, let's see if they make a difference. It is insane to think that I've never seen the Philippines completely conquered. That is a first, as well as kind of depressing, but I just can't wait to see what these guys do. They're looking, well, actually smaller than ever, but they can completely change the war. The Germans, by the way, have already started Operation Barbarossa and uh, Finland isn't involved yet or actually any other Axis member. I don't think. Japan's about to take out British Malaya, and I just, I love that there's actually like a Pacific theater happening. Like, islands are being taken. It's more than just war in China. Wow, all right, well back in the east, now that I've disabled Fog of War once again, hopefully this game doesn't crash. Uh, Stalin has a bunch of troops, obviously. He's uh, starting to do his meat shield strategy, or, or block shields. I, I don't know what the hell these are supposed to be. Okay, yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on here. This is... Fascinating stuff to watch, but uh, I, I mean if I had to take a guess I'm guessing you know the HQ has something to do with supply in kind of managing these divisions nearby I don't know. I love this so much So the Japanese AI have actually taken over New Zealand as well as uh, they just took Sydney So Australia won't last long. Yeah, there's actually not much fighting going on over here at all I don't think there's any pushing. I mean the Japanese barely have any divisions over here So I don't know what's happening. This is such a new thing for us I I'm not used to actually looking at the Pacific Ocean like ever the Americans are, are definitely having a lot of battles out here. Also, just the fact that it's 1944 and the game is still running this smooth. I've had to stop so many videos because this thing was just barely moving. Wow, I'm actually learning shit here. I had no idea this erupted in 1944. Now I want a Hoy Natural Disasters DLC. The British have landed, but funny enough, it's actually Romania that is doing most of the protecting of the Italian peninsula. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it matters much because Stalin is just whooping over here. Either the Allies take some German lands or not, because the Soviets would just take everything otherwise. Well, there it is. World War II is ending. Fall of Berlin just happened, and it looks like Stalin is just going to take over, like, all of Europe. Ouch. Yeah, I think this is the peace deal, and it looks like the Soviets have taken over France. Nice. You're now part of the common turn. Same goes for Norway, Belgium, Luxembourg, Greece. Surprised the Dutch aren't involved in that as well. Here's the map of Europe post-World War II. I guess the Italians just got completely annexed. I expect the same from Romania and Hungary. As well as now that France and Norway are under Soviet control, I like that they changed their font. That's actually pretty cool. And very slowly, the Americans are winning the war in the Pacific, kind of. They're about to take over the Philippines, as well as someone is, uh, I guess, making a landing in Japan. Something has gone seriously wrong for the Japanese AI. They've got, like, nothing over here. 
they're not even protecting their homeland. I'm assuming they had a lot of troops in Australia, and then they realized this entire continent wants to kill them. Not even the people, just the continent itself. And there it is. It's over. And I'm assuming the UK have just employed their strategy of puppeting everything. It looks like it, because Japan now has a British color to it. Anyways, that was World War II. Uh, we actually have a very interesting world. It's pretty unique, where the Soviets control all of Europe, but the British control all of the East. At least everything that Japan used to control. And then they got to keep French Indochina after France went communist. So this Cold War, there definitely would be three major players. Because the Brits are now really powerful. Anyways guys, definitely go check out this mod. At least go take a look at the Steam Workshop page because it is brilliant. One of those huge overhauls. Although it still didn't really manage to fix everything in the Western Hemisphere. This place was just entirely boring. But either way, I mean if Paradox could just make something like this, it'd be incredible. They should hire this mod team. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. And as always, big thanks to my Patreon supporters, Furry Cruz, Swiss Argo, KMT for China, Sister Fister, Jake Paul's My Daddy, Yeet God McNeckass, Maxi G, Tyler, Matthew Rembish, Caitlin Liu, Sean Spillman, Jen's Love Disc, Bruce Furcation, Matthew E, William Bennett, King Solomon, Elijah Senpai, Kirby, Wyone, and Elfie C.